You are listening to the No Invite Podcast. Season 3. The progression. progression. Follow us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast or look us up on YouTube at No Invite Podcast. The best kept secret. All right, you know what it is. We back. No Invite Podcast moving and grooving like we always do. It's almost the end of the year, so we're kicking off the last couple episodes. Episode 111, we got Hot Mama in the building. How are you doing? You know, I'm peachy keen as always. That's right. She got her fucking... uh, uh, Telephone telemarketer voice on right now, like trying to be hella <laughs> I was nice. I was, I was waiting for what you were going to describe me you as. Thought, yeah. there's, there's a couple things that you <laughs> said. No. You're a scumbag. That's, that's my default <laughs> des- description of a lot of people. So indeed, um, you know, including yeah. myself. Include that in my week as well. Mm-hmm. You know, scumbag shit. <laughs> it's part of your calendar, huh? Your calendar says, "Hey, scumbag shit." To at the do. top, at the top of my yeah, calendar. <laughs> exactly. Which, which, what color you highlighted in red? <laughs> no, <laughs> yellow. My favorite color. That's right. Okay, okay. So we're in the building. How um, we have El Presidente in the building there today. You go. Hello. The Presidente is going to be the studio audience. You know, what I mean, checking in and checking out, doing what they do. We got a hot mama in here. How was your week? Overall, it was very um, festive, you know. This uh, the end, it was really wet, you know. Outside, it canceled mm. um, some events, but it's okay because I opened up another event and I went and checked out my my future job location, maybe. So that was really cool. That was dope. Uh, the first time I ever heard you say the witness made you run for it, but okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so so, what do you mean? You had like you had an event planned or what that mm-hmm. you were throwing? Yeah, you know. Um, how come you ain't say none of this shit on the on the past previous thing? You know you're supposed to plug your shit whenever you on the podcast. You know? <laughs> you're supposed to try to get people there. You feel Shameless me? plug. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, how yeah. come I didn't? I don't remember. I don't know. Sometimes I'm silly. That's why. Nah, but I, so I didn't, and we were supposed to have nah. an, an event this weekend, and um, it was gonna be great. As always, but it was just way too wet, so we didn't. Um, yes. We had to cancel because there's just you know some things that aren't built for that, and vendor Wait events windy. outside yeah. are not the one. Yeah, your pop up tent ain't gonna make it out there in the yeah. Wind like but my that. friend, you know the one who was here last week, she invited me to her daughter's craft fair, and so I went ahead and brought some socks and scrunchies and sold a few things. And That's dope. That's it was dope. really cool. You gotta get the brand out there. Keep keep touching yeah, more lives. Told- you feel me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it don't got. Oh, it's always got to be some scumbag <laughs> shit with you, huh? <laughs> yeah, sorry, so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Bring it back. Bring it back around town. Here we go. That, that's just me too, but I just try. I just hide it better. I, I, <laughs> yeah. But I think it's yeah, yeah. You do. <laughs> just control myself. You see through me. <laughs> I, know I could read. That's my special power. Remember, I could read no. people's minds. <laughs> but yeah, so that was pretty fun today. And um, you know, I was a teacher um, beforehand as well before I started doing this as well preschool teacher and so um yeah they have a preschool there and the director wants me to come and work there and stuff and so that's like an avenue as well i hope maybe yeah that'd be dope you know you're good with kids you uh you take Mm -hmm. care of your babies very well um you know i mean shit that i mean hey you know sometimes i'm telling you like this doing what i've been doing um, I, I can't tell you how many times that just me going and doing my vending or, you know, my music or whatever the case it is, it's brought me to another opportunity somewhere. Mm. You know, it just, it, and the way I look at it is like when I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, more doors open up for me. You know, yeah. it, it's not that, that, you know, the most negative people say, oh, well, something always happened. Yeah, something does always happen, but that's the distraction to try to keep you from reaching those doors that are opening up or try to derail you. You could call it the devil. You know, they call it a lot of things. The and, universe. And <laughs> the universe has its creepy hand on you trying to stop you from your goals, whatever the case is. But um, uh, you'll be surprised, you know, and, I, and that's to me that when you tell me that it seems like one of those one of those instances where just by you going and doing this and. You know, had you not been doing tie dye, you probably wouldn't be there. And if you weren't right. there, you probably wouldn't have had this opportunity presented. I like how the two worlds collide because um, I'm definitely like a like a kid person. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, like a like a teacher or like a you know provider or whatever for the little ones, not older people. I don't 
like old people. <laughs> what's the cutoff limit? Get that straight. <laughs> I think the, like school age, okay, wanna, yeah. school age, like maybe when they start becoming like six or seven, they become like little shits, really. <laughs> Honestly, and before yeah. that, they're so like open to the imagination and things. And so. Do not tell anybody at this place you were if you go, <laughs> that you do a podcast. I right? just let's, <laughs> let's I'm sure it. every parent out there, every person who knows. Knows Every that, real parent, yeah, like knows that these kids are little shits when they become a certain yeah. age, you know. The, the only difference I just is, prefer, you yeah. know, younger kids, infants. It, I really love infants. So. Yeah, that's what's up. Anywho, two worlds collided for me today, and that was amazing. How's your week slash weekend been? Um, it's been good. I mean, it ain't it ain't nothing but business, you know, just business as usual. Um, been working. Uh, Working a lot, but trying to get a, a lot of different things in order. I, I don't know. You know, I got so much going on sometimes. It's, it's just me. Um, I think that's what kind of gets me up every day besides, you know, the normal stuff that I got to do. It's like just to have something to look forward to. I got my I got my family, you know, and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think everybody needs, you know, something besides, you know, something for themselves. You know, you know something uh, that's their own, whether it's a hobby, it's a fucking... You know, another job, you know, it's a business, whatever it is, I, I feel like everybody needs that. So I'm kind of I'm kind of thankful that um, you, everything that I've been doing has been working out. And, um, you know, I'm, I can't complain. I'm not where I'm at, but, you know, I'm, I'm definitely on my way. So the, this week's been kind of uh, a little bit of that because some opportunities have come up too. I don't really like to mention them or get too deep into stuff until I know it's for sure. sure. Because just be, just because of the nature of what I do besides the podcast and stuff like that. So, um, you know, y'all know, y'all know when you see it, when you see me, you know, I'm, I'm the, I'm the background dude in the movie somewhere, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm actor number three, you feel me? Then, you know, you might know, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know, I we all gotta somebody, start somewhere. I seen somebody's account profile as like um, the girl in the third row or something, and I was yeah. like, "Ooh, I kind of like that." Yeah. Like, why do you need to be in the front row? You don't need to be in the front row. You could just be like right there. You know, that's like that's like front row is, is cool and all, but third row is like the the, the cool stalker shit. Like, yeah. like, like she's obsessed with me because she she doesn't want me to know that she's here, and obvious like watching. the front row. But she's watching, so that's pretty fucking hot. I mean, that, I mean that's at least that's what you know. Right? Yeah, right. I'm glad. I'm glad you think so too. I, I thought yeah. that I got that same vibe, and I was like, huh. I never thought of that before, yeah, but here we are today. Creep, I love you. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Not the back row either, right? Because that's where like all the fucking. That's like, the obvious uh, creeps, all right. Those are, you know, that's where the, they're doing like the hand jobs. Yeah, and yeah stuff, that's right? where all the, the creepy row. shits happening. Like, you don't know what the fuck's going on back there. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't ready. <laughs> you know, I mean, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it all depends. It depends on where you're at. You know, sometimes the back row's lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's time back there getting a little head you know what I'm saying you can't no. you know what I'm saying in the back row catching a flick catching no. a brand new flick you know what I'm saying gosh I can't even remember being in school it was so long ago oh yeah man besides El President here El Presidente El Presidente here. get it right five star general El Presidente in school right now killing it you've no. insulted me and you've insulted the presidency. <laughs> I, shall, I shall retaliate. <laughs> but yeah, but that, yeah, that's what's up though. So I mean, my week's been cool. I'm getting ready for this Christmas shit. Everybody is. I'm telling everybody like that meme. I seen a meme the other day. I really like that shit. It's, and it said, uh, Christmas is looking real like it's the thought that counts. <laughs> so just know that whatever it is you get from me this Christmas. Just know I really thought about you when I got it, <laughs> and that's what you should be counting. The thought that counts. Exactly. What, what do you say that you would really like for Christmas if you had like a choice? Like if you could just get whatever you wanted Ever, for Christmas. Whatever I wanted for Christmas. Not, not saying that you're going to get shit for Christmas because you're no, probably yeah. just getting cold. So basically like, my childhood, like I would think of all the shit I wanted and then end up not getting none of it. Like Whatever you're taking care of, here <laughs> so, we go. But what would you want? Like? <laughs> I, I mean, I just thought about my childhood when you said it like that. But... um. No, I don't know. I, I, to be honest with you, I, um, I don't know. You know, That's I a hard just, question, huh? It, it, like it is a hard question. That's really hard. Well, materialistically, that's easy. I mean, I could just oh, yeah. get oh, any old thing, but then. it's like, I don't, but we talking about anything, so it's like. Oh, you're yeah. trying to get fancy and yeah, shit, huh? Yeah, I mean, shit. Don't put, <laughs> hold on. Don't put, don't put limits on my dreams and what the okay, fuck. Okay, okay. My wishes and shit that I could do, you know what I mean? You want to read mine for Christmas? <laughs> All right. Santa Claus, drop that off to you, huh? But yeah, um. 
No, nah, I mean, uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I, I shit. Money. Money. Like how back going back to the last episode and said, "What's the key to a man's heart?" The the look. The key is all the shit that I was telling you, but the key's made of money too. So <laughs> just like how you the lock is money pallets <laughs> of money, exactly. right? Yeah, my secret power. That's not my secret power no more though. That's not. What no, would it be? Uh, we don't even. We don't yeah, even you don't get go into there, that. Man. We Come don't want. We don't want to hear about it. You know, it's not Christmas like to be <laughs> talking. Santa Claus ain't gonna bring you what you want if you keep talking like this. <laughs> I don't expect shit, anyways. <laughs> I know. It's like. Damn. However, I do know that I am getting um, a coffee. What? Not a percolator. What was it called? You chose it. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called neither. But it's a coffee maker that. It's really fancy. It's the super fancy you coffee. Don't plug it in. Sweet. You does, don't plug it in. What does it do? Does it like fucking massage your hand or something? It's too? probably like, gonna give me a happy ending. Oh shit! Ah, oh, well then it's probably worth every fucking dollar. <laughs> best gift ever. Huh? Who gave you that? Huh? Who's you know, you? you know the best way to start a morning off, right? <laughs> a BJ and a, some coffee. A mug. coffee and a cum. Yeah. <laughs> some, you, you, you like coffee with some cream in it, huh? <laughs> Sicko. 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 Sinner. Just a splash. Anyways, like we're talking about Christmas again. Going back to Christmas. Hello. But yeah, coffee. The coffee thing is what I'm I'm so happy for. That's right. Uh, I don't know. I don't give a damn really, to be honest. I don't, I don't expect anything. Uh, to me, I just want everybody to be happy mm-hmm. and be happy with this gift you're about to get. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 and yeah, this real, this is, it's, it's full of so much love. You better take this shit. Uh, excuse me. That's horrible. It is what it is. It's what it is. But it's all right, though. I, I mean, like, because right now, for me, I got all these things going on. Mm-hmm. And a lot of things are on the brink of changing in a good way. But it's like, I can't really speak on them yet. And, like, I don't want to, I'm not going to say jinx it because it's not finalized. So nothing's for sure. Nothing's for certain. Had a, had, had a hand went off to the Presidente. Here, I'll open it for you. Let me see a lighter pretty please. Oh, uh, hold on one second. Here you go. Yeah, take care of the president. Hold on. Hold on. That's we right. Gotta, we got to right. protect gotta get, the president. Got to get the president right. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, I'm we gotta obviously the, the, the right hand man here. So Red team go. I'm definitely sitting in the right spot. I'm so yeah, grateful. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're on my right side. I know. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> right. It just it just happened uh, organically. It, it, it was, sure fucking did. You yeah. just came in here and did your goddamn thing because usually. Yeah. Um, Look at God. Look at God. <laughs> 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 Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Call leader. Call leader. Uh, Here we go. Where so, were we? <laughs> so look. So yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, back to the uh, back to the lesson. That no, I just felt like I was gonna start rapping this shit right now. Uh, you got some bars? <laughs> yeah, I might. I might just have a couple here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, no, nah, for Christmas, I mean, right now. So um, since we're on the topic of Christmas, you know what I mean? What's your policy when you? I mean, let's let's say okay. You know you're gonna get your baby some gifts. You know you might get your dude some gifts. You know yourself, you might get yourself something. But what's your policy on giving gifts to other people? Not even family. We're gonna say friends first. We'll start with friends. Um. Well, you already know how frugal I am. <laughs> Mrs. Frugal, Fr- Miss Frugal. So honestly, I really don't like feel obligated at all. Here, take this beer, bitch. <laughs> I'm like it's a, it's looking like a thought that counts. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, I, usually, I was thinking about your Christmas, just so you know. I usually send really out bad. Christmas cards, and that's kind of like one way to say um, here, you know, Merry Christmas. That's right. But only if I see things for people like um, that make me feel like it would be for them. But what if it's like your special friends? Do they get do they get better I gifts? I thought about that actually. <laughs> I definitely yeah. thought about that. And I was thinking about some special people and I was thinking like, what would be some things that they like? And I thought about it, but only if I come across something that I feel like would be really um, them, would I get it for them or something. That's right. But like... uh, So basically everybody else getting a card and that's it. Merry motherfucking Christmas. (laughs) Happy New Year. Yeah, I don't feel, I don't know. Like I don't have a real policy on it because um, I don't... 
I don't got a job. I mean, I just be selling my tire diet. But other than that, it's like Tim's paying the bills and shit. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. who am I to be out here, like, fucking giving everybody everything that they've ever dreamed of and wanted? Like, <laughs> oh, shit, damn. You blessing people like that in these no, streets? No, not up? at all. I'm not. Fucking hot mama claws and shit. I promise you, not, not in that way. <laughs> what if you gifted them tie dye? I do do socks. For my nieces and nephews, mm-hmm. I like to do socks now, tie-dye socks. That's cool. I like that. And, and you know what I mean? Um, Oma, she gives us, um, like, pajamas every year, and I think that's such a sweet thing to do every year, like, mm-hmm. something that you can count on, right, or something that you look forward to, excuse me, not count on, but something that you can, like, look forward to, you know, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. pajamas that you can get for Christmas or whatever. Yeah. And so I feel like I want to set that tone with my nieces and nephews and um, give them socks. Like, the ones that are too old for toys, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. get them, give them a pair of my old tie-dye socks. These. Like, you check know. this out. Here you go. Yeah. You put this in your life. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Um, yeah. Shit. I, had, I was really thinking about something that uh, when you were saying that when it comes to um, just family and gifting and shit. But my policy basically is that if I ain't got it, just know I was thinking about you. That's real, for sure. Real much. That's I, for I, sure. I, I like to get people stuff. I like to get my... And I, and I got a bunch of family. Like, when I, when I had it, I would do it. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't, like, you know, tight with my money. I would do whatever. But, um... You know, I mean, if you, if you see me out here grinding and you see me moving around, you know, uh, just know that I, 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 I'm I'm with you in the spirit. You know, I'm, I'm for the spirit. You know, it's better to give than to receive. Remember that. So don't be don't be expecting any to receive anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I wondered is uh, you have your your brand, your clothing line, right? Yeah. Do you gift that out for the holidays at all, like to anybody, or have you ever I, thought of that? Or I, like, I have if they want it, but I'm not just gonna be like, here, take a shirt of mine and take, wear it. Take my shirt. <laughs> yeah, I got you this shirt. Well, I would like, like, I'm gonna give my sweatsuit. You know, that'd be yeah, nice. <laughs> I knew you was. I knew something was happening. Something was going on. El Presidente, please, please, Jeez, El Presidente. President, are you okay? You all right? To Too many society. beers. No, everybody in the room. No, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm there. You got. Uh, feel free to be as natural as possible. This is a podcast. I got up it ain't and used perfect. the restroom last time too. Yeah, so she I did. mean, like anytime you, you know need I mean? to. You know? So, you know, I did it real quietly though. <laughs> you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell her. You couldn't no, tell when listening. I was when I was listening to it, honestly, I did not hear myself get up or open the door or none of that shit. And then when I came I back. Know. You could tell? I couldn't not. No. no. And then when I came back. You and, could tell when you came back, though, because you were like, yeah, like and then jump Shannon right or in. somebody was like, you know, oh, get up in here in the middle or whatever. And mm. I was like, and that's when you can tell that mm. I had to readjust or come back in or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I was pretty proud of myself. Pat on the back. Yeah. And I, it, I like I like the fucking what's it called, though? The uh, the fact that the audio is cool doing an audio podcast only because like how we we're talking about. We have I've had people come in here. And uh, not give the real name due to mm. play hate motherfuckers that be go- at your work on some hoe ass bitch ass shit. And if they're listening right now, you get you a whole fat ass dick. But uh, because of shit like that, they uh, sh- word up to Ann. Oh my god! Shout out, shout out, Ann. <laughs> Hey. We, we need some hey, more. It's huh? not a thing unless you make it a thing. <laughs> it's a motherfucking thing. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Speed bump. Speed bump. <laughs> just keep moving. Just keep rolling. We, we have those often, huh? Just keep mm. it moving. <laughs> Everything don't ex- don't de- uh, deserve an you explanation. You guys, the look on his face though when he said that. <laughs> I'm sitting across from this fucking. <laughs> it was real. It was real. It's real. I felt that for a second. Yeah. I was like, well, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. I mean. That shit came straight from the heart, but uh, wholeheartedly. Yeah, yeah. Wholeheartedly. Hey, with all due respect. With all the most, with all the most disrespect. Hey, and with, with, with all due respect, suck a dick. Fuck y'all. Suck like a dick. Like a small one, because I feel like sucking dick is kind of like a fun thing. I mean, unless well, it's small. unless unless it's small, then that's not so fun. Makes well, it awkward. What, what you tell them then? It's like a small dick. <laughs> there you go. From your, from, from a, uh, a, so an sorry. expert. From somebody that could, uh, you know what I mean? But we're real weird. weird. <laughs> no. Terrible. Terrible. Anyways, but yeah, uh, so I've had people come on the show and be like, you know, uh, my name is such and such. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? And really... You know, I mean, they were El Presidente. They were the, they were the president of yeah, the, the human president. centipede. Yeah, Jesus Christ. 
I, and like I said, speedboat, speedboat. Like some shit don't don't need to be uh, explained. You know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. That but, most uh, certainly will never be explained. <laughs> you seem like you need another. I'm so sorry. I, I do, but it's all right. We, we're moving. We'll keep, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, keep rocking. Pushing for a while. We, gonna, we gotta push through it because then we're gonna take a break, roll a couple joints, and, and then go grab Here, some you beers want some and. Wine? <laughs> nah, definitely not. Oh my god. Jeez, that's a little rough. I'll give you mine. Yeah. No, no, it's not that serious. Drink food, no. Just drink this. That's how I know you're a fucking scumbag, bro. You're like, do you want some? This is my beer, my germs. My germs. <laughs> Look at okay, this, is my strong hand. <laughs> that's definitely what I got too. <laughs> That was a good one for sure. Yeah, man, but, uh, hey, you know, you're always speaking of like scary movies and stuff, but what about holiday movies? Are there any like cute like holiday okay. movies? Okay. Oh, I'm glad you asked that fucking question. That's a good ass question. Right? Because I'm tired of the disrespect. <laughs> if you guys don't think Friday After Next is a, is a Christmas movie, you're fucking bad shit out of your mind. <laughs> and, and I demand for it to be up there in the Hall of Fame along with the Christmas story and the Grinch and all that other shit. And it, it deserves recognition. Yes, yes, it does. But uh, yeah, I like some. I like, but I like, you know, I, uh, I grew up to all that fucking shit. Like, I don't even know how the fuck we did it back in the day when I was when I was young. It was only like a couple of Christmas movies, the black and white. It's a Wonderful Life that looked like a bunch of fucking mannequins talking to it. It just, <laughs> it just didn't look like nobody I fucking knew, you know. So mm-hmm. there was not a lot of representation when it came back then. So I. You know, the Christmas story and all that shit. I don't even fucking watch that shit no more. Like, I, I, it's cool and all, you know, and I have no, you know, it was, it's like my childhood, but mm-hmm. I just don't have no interest no more in that. So, all them old ass Christmas movies to me, like uh, that one, Friday After Next is a Christmas movie. I like Bad Santa. That one's funny. I like, I like Bad Teacher because Bad Teacher is in Christmas too. It all, it's all takes place during I don't think Christmas. I watched that one. Bad Teacher with uh, Carmen Diaz. <laughs> Oh, and Justin... Justin Timberlake. I almost yeah. said Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, but, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've seen... I'll have to watch it again. That's I don't remember that being a, a Christmas one at all. It is. It's, a, it's all on Christmas. Home Alone. Yeah, that was a classic for sure. Yeah, Home Alone. I fuck with Home Alone. Home Alone was a little bit more modern, like, you know what I mean? But uh, Home, Home Alone was good. What else? Um, yeah, does who, Mean who Girls count? Who would have know, <laughs> known that Macaulay Culkin would really be out there in the snow like that? Uh, Whoa! Yeah. Skiing. Jeez, skiing. <laughs> I, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He was like, ah, with a bunch of fucking blowing his. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. That guy. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, it's neither here nor there. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> But uh, what other what other movies are, are, are like more modern uh, Christmas movies? I, to me, those are kind of like my go to right there though. Uh, Friday After Next, since it came out, it's always been a Christmas movie in my in my mind, and it all takes place during Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Bad Santa, like I said, Christmas yeah. takes place during Christmas. It's hilarious, by the way. I watched Elf for the first time, like maybe like a year or two ago. I fuck with Elf. Elf is a dope Christmas movie. I'm not a big super fan of uh, Will Ferrell. Ferrell. Why not? <laughs> What do you, you? Am I about to get kicked out or something? Like, no, I'm asking a question. I mean, okay, depending okay. on what your answer is, what, what might get you kicked out or not? So. <laughs> his some of his stuff is funny, but some of it's not. Like the Anchorman, I was like, I don't know about I, that. It was alright. But like Step Brothers was funny as fuck. Step Brothers, right? Yeah. And so there's like some things that he does that I can get down with. The Elf, I feel like, is hella immature, and I feel like a man acting hella immature like that's stupid as fuck. I'm yeah. not gonna find entertainment out of that. Like. Yeah. I mean, shit. Fucking grow up. I don't that's know. That's half the people on Instagram right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow those ones. I like to follow the yogi ones. I started I started doing that actually because I wanted to fill my feed with things that inspired me. So I started mm-hmm. following hell of yoga people because that's what I want to see. I want to be inspired and I want to be a yogi like that. <laughs> you got to, well, it's just like anything else. And, and since you can't literally surround yourself uh, all the time with a lot of that, you should want to have at least that kind of vibe yeah. or that kind of energy around you, yeah. you know? But um, yeah, that's dope. I ain't mad at that. I ain't yeah. mad at that. You got real intense eyes. You should have seen the look in your face. Like, I want to be a yogi. Like, I want to be a yogi. <laughs> so, you know. I should say it more calmly. I want to be a yogi. <laughs> no. I mean, if, if that's what it's going to be. I'm going to be a yogi. Yeah, that, that's how you really got to talk. I am. You got to speak with intention. Yogi. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yogi the bear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Different yogi? <laughs> yeah, Different very. Yogi. Okay. Just, I don't know. Did Yogi the bear do a Christmas special, though? <laughs> I don't know. If he did, I probably wouldn't watch that shit either. Uh, you know what? Honestly, on God, the reason why I don't like watching OO shit no more, because I feel like, yo, everybody in this motherfucker was racist. I know you were. Yeah. Like, I, I know all. All you, cause all y'all were picked and selected, and 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 you, we know that y'all motherfuckers didn't fuck with none of us, you know. And you could tell, like that's why all them old ass movies, the 
that I, I don't fuck I, I really don't there's some that I do um, I think like once you started getting towards the 70s mid 70s you started getting a lot more progressive I guess you could say when it came to Mm-mm. movies but no, no yeah but it was definitely not I it, still hear some things in the movies that were made in the 80s and stuff where I'm like no for sure it didn't go away yeah it didn't definitely my, didn't go away my jaw drops sometimes when I'm watching movies and I'm just like did they really <laughs> yeah. so while we over here talking about this now you like you don't even know what it took to make some of these Christmas movies they probably had some fucking harsh conditions and treating motherfuckers bad like you don't know I you know, at How the end horrible. of the day, yeah, I know, and, and yet it brings me so much joy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Funny how that works out. Funny, yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, think back. <laughs> Childhood trauma. Yeah, it all leads back to that. Is that going to be the episode name? <laughs> Childhood trauma. <laughs> depends, depends on what we talk about. I mean, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Here, right. We're not, we're not going to go. You deep. know, we gotta be. We gotta do the right thing and suppress it, like we always and have. Suppress it, yes, yeah, and let it and yes. let it manifest in different areas of our life to where we wonder what the fuck's wrong with us. <laughs> <laughs> the president of the Human Centipede here disagrees. She's like, no. you need to write it out. Happen to that. Top once again, to I don't, don't, once again, once again, if you're coming over here to listen to everything we say and actually apply and do what we're saying, then you're a fucking idiot. So please don't do that. Don't be that guy or a girl or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't be that person that that uh, I listened to a podcast and it told me to fucking yeah, to suppress my childhood to suppress my feelings. <laughs> Shoot a fucking, shooting up a fucking business or some oh wild weird shit. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Please get some help, y'all. Don't listen to us. You know we're just different. We're built different. We're from a different era. We can I mean, suppress it different. <laughs> no. no, what it is is, is we didn't we don't suppress it no more. It actually is an actual another alternate personality of ours that only comes out as needed. So <laughs> only when we need to go back to <laughs> pieces of me. Yeah, there's a there's a podcaster that that's, uh, that I listen to. Uh, he he uh, he he goes. His name's Mike, and then he goes. But I could turn into prison Mike real fast. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> so please he, don't. He, he, so I'm like, yeah, I we get. Don't, it. We don't want prison Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the world needs prison Mike. <laughs> and all you fucking fucks talking that crazy shit. No, nah. not me, not I. No, <laughs> don't act like you're not prison Mike. Sometimes I'm not. I'm like. She's I'm a yogi. How can I'm a I yogi. Be that? Thank yeah. you. Just How could I ever be that? Crazy, then you're prison Mike. Uh. <laughs> prison. Uh, we're gonna call her prison, prison HT. Polly? No, I'm just kidding. Prison, <laughs> prison hot mama. That's kind of hot. <laughs> that's, some orange, that's some orange is the new black type hot. That was a pretty hot show, and I feel like that's not a very good representation of what jail would be like if I. But you know what it is? It's a very good representation of what a man thinks female jail is like. <laughs> Okay. In our mind, we're like, yeah, I know what she was doing, girl. Right? Oh, my God. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> hey, did you, did it. hey, yo, did you hear about that shit? There was a, um, there was an ex-warden in Texas that got fucking found guilty. Uh, they found him. Um, I don't know if they found him guilty. or No, I think he got found guilty. He was having like, he was like fucking raping inmate, female inmates, but not only just that, but like. Harvey Weinsteining them to where like if you fucking if you let me fuck if you let me fuck you I'll I'll give you I could grant help grant you early parole and and he was doing that too and he had like it, it, it was started with him and it ended up being like a conspiracy with a bunch of fucking prison guards and shit oh sure yeah so so um see that's real prison for y'all Prison, real prison. Pri- that real That's prison really is not nothing like the movies. Yeah, Women are real really shit. getting raped in prison right now. No, real Women shit. I hope they fucking elect- are really getting raped I think raped it's in Texas in too because right you, you can still get the uh, gas chamber in Texas. So I hope they gas so us for that. I'd fuck my way out of it too. I don't care. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it the option. I mean. How, how ironic that this dude lands in prison and then he goes to a prison where the guy's like, yeah, you want to get out? Or the female's like, yeah, you want to get out? He's like, I'm not gay. You gay for sucking my <laughs> yeah. dick. Creeps me out just being around you. Yeah. Some cock meat sandwiches on the menu That's over horrible. there. <laughs> Watching too many motherfucking movies. But that was even local too. Too. wasn't there like a women's prison in, is it Dublin or no really I believe it's happening everywhere you no, guys no it is and, it, and it, it's, it's fucked everywhere. up it's, it's really a fucked up thing because 
you know, people want to go home, bro. They're taking they're taking advantage. No matter where you do it. First of all, rape, you're out of pocket. Like I said, they mm-hmm. should gas his ass for that, period. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they're doing that type of shit to people that want to go home and, and degrading and them, dehumanizing mm-hmm. them, this crime. But that's what I tell you. That's what we're saying about, like, even though it was a joke, so don't get on my ass. Now we're getting serious <laughs> and shit. But, you know, the joke about, about women's prison and shit is like, yeah, it's, it, it, just like men prison, they try to make it glamorized in the movies and shows, nah. but really it's not, it's not that. It's not. And it's ugly as fuck in that motherfucker, so... Uh, yeah. Don't turn into we prison decide. hot mama. I, yeah, huh? I can't. I can't. I promise you, I would not be able to last. I'd be somebody's like bitch real fast. I'm so sure. Mm-hmm. I, like it. I I'm would so love somebody's, <laughs> somebody's bitch. I'm so sorry. I screamed into the mic. <laughs> you good? Pretend. You did it right. You'd be like role playing. I'd, I'd be role like playing. In, in your head, you're like, <laughs> hey, I've been, hey. I've been waiting for. She this calls my whole home. Life. She's all. She's all. Hey, hey, Tim. Tim's like, how are you doing? Are you holding up? Oh, I'm having the time of my life. I'm having a blast. Everybody over here is hella nice to me. <laughs> I got hella commissary, baby. Don't even trip. <laughs> I'm gonna send you some money, okay? <laughs> well, what, are, what do the babies need? <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Terrible. All right, say that. Orange is the new black season finale. Season. Yeah. Oh man. Hot <laughs> mama just hits the main line. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Trade you for a carton of smokes in there. <laughs> Could, uh, yeah. Anywho, That's horrible. Anywho, anywho. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the kind of shit that our fucking listeners got to deal with. It's crazy. Yeah, right? well, they're listening to it. So, <laughs> like it. <laughs> getting off to this shit. Yeah, that's okay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I know. You know I mean, see, you're a scumbag. What's again? Ain't got to be dirty unless you make it. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, but I mean, to me, like, this is this shit's fun. The podcasting is fun to me. It's, um, it's really like just shit we would be bullshitting talking about anyways. Like we, mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, the the whole meaning, the whole purpose for this is for you guys to feel like you know you're a part of the conversation we're going on. You know, mm-hmm. you could relate. You know, the topics we talk about or just the everyday shit that we be going through. A lot of people could fucking relate, mm-hmm. and it, and it gives you a different perspective. So sometimes you might feel somebody out there might feel like yo, I'm fucking weird or I'm something's wrong with me for thinking like this, and then they hear other people talk like this, it's like oh, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> Like you know, and, and 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 anybody listening to the podcast, like I said, this is ninety nine percent comedy. We come in here and we ham it up, you know, and we talk our shit. It's you know, for anybody to be at somebody's work trying to get somebody slandered over this, you're just you know, it's really, you just fuck. really, um, you just really sad, yo. Like it's the saddest shit. I was just like, bro, if you got a problem, see that person. Like you know, you trying to play okay. with people's money. You don't know okay. people got kids, people got lives to live. What? What we conversate and have jokes about because everybody does this in private. You know, we do mm-hmm, it and then I don't mm-hmm. care anybody working anywhere. They do this shit in private all the time. You know, so it's not like it's a bad thing. This is just human nature, who we are. We we, we like to have jokes. We, we find certain things that might not be funny, funny sometimes. We, we have different perspectives. We all don't think the same way. So really, you're a loser. That's all I gotta say. You're a fucking loser. I feel like this is honestly like an outlet for me too because like yeah, it is. all week I hang out with my beautiful children, right? Mm-hmm. And like the um, the amount Fighting of Fighting like, the urges to be a scumbag. No, I'm a scumbag all week. Okay. But, <laughs> That's right, sure. but I don't get to talk to adults that often, right? Like, yeah. And so being able to talk with adults and, and drink some beers and smoke some joints or whatever, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's like Drinking beers, smoking joints. Yeah, like that's hella fun to me. Like why, like, I don't know. I'm super grateful that there's this space right here, right? Mm-hmm. That we could talk freely and bullshit and not be taken so seriously you know what i mean like that's what yeah and that's that's kind of what it is like i said everybody does it you go out with your yeah. friends hang out at their house you guys what do you do crack jokes watch movies talk about this talk about that bullshit. smoke a little weed if you with your homies you know whatever you guys talk about sports talk about this talk about that you know whatever so i i that's kind of like what i wanted for the people for the uh audience and the people that listen to this podcast i just wanted them to have um, a healthy distraction You know Because there's so much Negativity out there That's why I also Try to stay away Like we were talking Earlier about the R. Kelly thing You know what I mean And and um, you know the, As far as the As far as the um, You know like The the fucking The album that dropped And everybody's mm-hmm. like This and that and the other And it's just that To me When I when talking about That type of stuff It's like First of all um, I don't want to give More fire Like that's why I'm talking About Kanye and shit Too much and all that shit And I try to stay away From that Donald Trump And all that other Conversation as best as I can <laughs> You know Because it's just it's just one of those things where it's like, well, you got more than enough people out here talking about it, you know. And I don't, I don't agree with the shit. Mm-hmm. So, 
you know, but you got more than enough people out here talking about this shit already. It's just like, yo, I don't want to feed that to my to my following. You know, I, I'd rather give y'all some real sh- some real life shit like over here. You know what we got going on than give you some negative shit that's being pulled out already. Now we will come with some topics and shit from actual like pop culture or what's going on in the current news because it's unavoidable. But for the most part, you already know, you know how we try. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just keep it moving yeah. over it. <laughs> so look, we're gonna take a break because I need another beer. It's known by podcast episode 111. We will be back. We got El Presidente in the building. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to miss uh, Miss Presidente to you. No disrespect now. Um, yeah, what's going on? Known by podcast episode 111. 111. If, if you're waiting for a sign to drink liquor and smoke weed, you just heard the le- the numbers 111. Is that what you think of when you see 111? No. That's what I, I'm saying to oh. the people listening <laughs> when they see one, one, one. Once again, if you listen to what I'm telling you, then it's you're bullshit. fucking, yeah, you're, you're tripping. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Don't watch me. Watch TV, motherfuckers. Like, that's where you want to That's where you want to get all your bad shit from. But we back, episode 111, knowing about podcast season three. It's almost over. The season's almost over. How do you feel about that now that you've been on the journey running around with us a little bit, doing hood rat shit with your peoples over here? <laughs> um... I don't feel like it's um, like nothing is almost over. Like I feel like it's just beginning. I don't know. Like maybe that's where I am at in my journey or something. Well, it's something, just a season. It's yeah. just a season. That's all it is. Yeah, it's it, just... The podcast will live on. It's gonna keep moving. You know. It's just it's just a season right now. We uh. We, this we're... year ending is different though. You yeah. know, like that's a different uh, feeling. That's interesting for sure. You know, you, you just. When you think of uh, Christmas and shit, do you think of New Year's too? Like, is, is it um, does it hit the same, or does it is it different now that you're older and you start looking at it? Like, because obviously we look at Christmas different now that we're older. <laughs> you know, it, it don't hit the same. I mean, it didn't really hit that much when we was kids, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, that I, childhood trauma again. <laughs> just, just always back there lurking, watching us. The ch- my, my, you know, the girl in the third row and shit. Well, my my childhood trauma's in the third row. You know, I mean? that's, <laughs> the third row. That's, that's who's right there. But um. Don't. That's it, right? That's hot. You're my trauma. So do you have Be any- vulnerable. No. Cry now. No. Fuck. That's crazy. That's crazy. Sorry. Where were we? No. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I just repressed all that. All right. So, anyways. Uh, so yeah. So I'm um, so done with you. <laughs> You're so annoying. Hold on, me and hide these feelings real quick. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to not feel right now. <laughs> Have a fucking breakdown on the podcast. What were we saying? <laughs> talking about. Uh, I was just gonna ask you if you have any kind of like, because you know every family, every uh, you know I'm gonna say we, we're gonna go, we're gonna kick it in a bigger level. It's like every uh, culture has different. Uh, traditions when it comes to Christmas and then of course everybody just because you're from a certain culture doesn't mean that you actually celebrate those let me things. ask you which day you open presents on uh, Christmas Eve okay thank you yeah. it's because we're <laughs> <Wow>. Latinos <laughs> because yeah hey that's, that's one <laughs> that's of the a, things I was talking about that's a tradition or that's the thing I was talking like about <laughs> like come on now yeah. I'm married to a white man okay so I have to wait until like Christmas you gotta get up like ridiculously day. early, like damn, because everybody gonna be blowing you up, like a bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, bro, don't call me on Jesus's birthday. Call me the day before, right? The, so the, me and my family midnight. definitely get together on Christmas Eve for sure. It makes things easy. You know what I mean for sure. But. No, I, 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 that's dope. I mean, it's cool to have both. You know, because you know, you know, one, you get the, uh, you know, we used to have like mixed family like that because our family was the same way. But then, as you know, other people marry into the family and traditions change and stuff like that. But we always, yeah, we always midnight. You know, we know, we already know it wasn't no Santa Claus, right? Like, if you're like, you know, ain't no fucking Santa Claus. Is, that's dad, mom, and dad stuff in them fucking whatever that is. Yeah, you know, that's mom and dad making got it that. Happen for but, sure. but whatever's but, happening. But Christmas was the celebration, though. That's how we yeah. treated it. You know, Christmas Eve, everybody all gets together. We eat, we drink, smoke. The kids run around and then you know midnight comes you know boom open the gifts jesus was born at this fucking time and you can't tell us you can't tell us he wasn't born at midnight <laughs> can't say any different huh exactly. <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> but yeah um that's for sure off time and that's a latino thing mostly because uh, everybody else that i experienced that it's always on christmas morning and waking up and your breath stink and 
You know what I mean? Hot ass the morning breath, matching and PJs and chestnuts roasted <laughs> all, all over it, all that bullshit. Like, <laughs> like, no, 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 knock to nobody's shit. Like, whatever you do, however you do, it's your tradition. But I'm just saying for us, like, yeah. and it's like, and, and that's strange though that it is like a Latino thing because it's like, and no matter how, I mean, once you get like a couple of generations removed and, you know, you start losing these traditions, I've noticed that shit. And like I said, once people marry in and whatnot. Yeah. But if you like really like stay close knit to that and you teach that and continue to teach that to your kids and that shit really is a, a Latino thing because, mm-hmm. you know, we know Santa Claus, man. Come on, man. Santa- I have a hard time Stop playing with me. Um, like being able to like get on board with telling my daughter about Santa Claus and all that stuff. Like I'm not going to tell her that there's not, but like it's really hard for me to This be, ain't the white man that's buying your magical. gifts, baby. To be magical. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't the white man that's buying your gifts, daughter, just so you know. Check it out, baby. I'm making this happen for yeah. you. Like for it's us, us, you we, know. <laughs> we did this. You mm-hmm. want to see who Santa Claus is? Look again. Like let's go take a picture with this guy or whatever, <laughs> but like I don't know. Like I'm not going to tell her otherwise, but like when she yeah. asks me, like I don't know, I'm going to lie to her. Like I'm not gonna. I don't know. It's gonna be a hard. Well, they, I think talk. they just grow out of it. Santa Claus is, is is it's a it's a little kid thing. You know, you grow out of it. You know, as you go along, they they kind of put two and two together on their own. I, I I'm more like if you want to believe the Santa Claus thing, that's fine. I don't yeah. care if that if that's what you want. But we know who got you them goddamn gifts. <laughs> you know who got that shit? Yeah, it wasn't Santa Claus. <laughs> what about um, other traditions? I think like I think the opening the presents on Christmas Eve is one, and then mm-hmm. like what about like foods? Oh, I'm so hungry! Like uh, off top, I'm looking to me, forward to the tamales, yeah, for, tamales sure, for sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm every, I and mean, I'm sure every uh, like I said, everyone else, every other culture has their own things, but for sure, tamales is. It's off the chain right now. Mm. Fed, keep the keep the man fed. Keep the poor man fed with tamales for sure. <laughs> you know, I, I need a whole kilo of tamales. You feel me? <laughs> I could only be so lucky. That's for like sure. that. That's like that meme. You see that meme with Scarface, <clears throat> and he sit, instead of sitting in front of the desk with hella coke, it's just hella tamales stacked up and shit. <laughs> so that, that's kind of how I want to feel on on these holidays. And, it, and it's and it's wild now that we think about it, bro. Because you know how hard it is to find a real tamale plug that fucking gets busy, that really tastes good. There used to be this lady that, that came to came by our old job where I used to work at and she'd come by every morning like six in the morning and she'd have fucking igloo chest stuffed full of tamales hot steaming you open them up like oh, yeah. they were still they were so hot when you'd get them like the dough would still be soft you feel me it would be like almost like falling apart almost Damn. but um what's it called um yeah she uh she was our plug for a minute and then she you know i don't know what happened somebody ran off with the plug or something like or whatever ran off on the plug and she supported (laughs) that's fucking wild like it's crazy but you know what though they they be how they be sweating people over that though too they really do yeah for them getting their money littlest things you know like it's like bro they're not even selling no nothing they're just selling food and fruit and shit you know and they be sweating people i hate that shit but um, yeah, we, we lost the plug. So you know, th- out here without a tamale plug, you hey, know, you just wide open. Maybe she leveled up. Let's say she leveled up. Oh, you want me to tell you the real drama though? The, the I'm gonna tell you like this. Don't tell me you got the cheese man for sure. Nah, it, it ain't the it ain't the cheese man, right? <laughs> this is just facts. I didn't. I left this part out. What happened with her was uh, one of our coworkers told his wife about her, and she's like, "Yeah, this lady did it. That makes tamales." So he got her number and gave it to her. And the next thing you know, she stopped coming around. We're like, what's going on? She started going over there and selling all and selling out. So she was probably going to her, sell all her shit, getting all her money. And I, we were looking at him like, bro, what's wrong with you, bro? I'm like, Damn. man, you just, you just gave our plug took away. Plug. Took the plug and ran took with it and plug. just cut everybody off. It's wild, huh? See? I mean, good for her. No, I ain't mad at her. She could have hustled, gonna get her money, whatever. But, but what about me? What? What about my belly? <laughs> exactly. So if you're, if you're a tamale plug out there, yeah, or if you no, know a tamale in. plug for sure. Or you tap in. How to do them yourself. Oh, we're not that advanced. All right, let, let I us, might be. Let I us might just be live ready. This, this is the dream right now: is to have somebody <laughs> make me fresh, good tamales that I could just go pick up and shit. That's the dream right now. I feel like goals next year we should make tamales. What's stopping us this year? What's stopping y'all this year? Nothing. Exactly. Nothing I need an update nothing. for the new year. Right. I don't know. I just don't know how to marinate meat. I can make the meat and get the masa. And- I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, <clears throat> so yeah, you guys should do that though, because it's a, it's another. That's a tradition too, though. In itself, speaking of traditions and tamales and stuff, it's like yo, if we don't 
do that, if we don't learn how to do that, then we're really not like uh, taking advantage of the traditions that are there. And it ain't just our family. It's just it's our people in us. general. Yeah, exactly. It, I don't think it'll ever stop because there's always going to be more people. There's but always going to be. maybe in our line though, you know? Like... Exactly. And the next thing you know, like two generations from now, fucking Christmas is looking real fucking hella dry and, and some fucking tofu ham weird shit. Gross. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't let that happen. Yeah, like it's not authentic. It's like, come on now. What's going on? That's yeah. We can't let that happen. I think that we have to. I, gotta, I'm gonna have gotta to get on your tamal game. game. El presidente. I don't know. El, el presidente. <laughs> I don't know. I can cook it. El presidente, make it happen. Yeah, teamwork declare makes this, a dream work. De- declare this <laughs> and, and let it be so. Yeah, we could start off small, right? Like, why do we have to do like this big ass thing? We could just do it like something. That's, that's how you do it. You know what I mean? Start off small and let and then go big. <laughs> that's what she said. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, you guys should do that. Uh, and, and I'm gonna expect some kind of update. You, the next time we do it, I think we got one more podcast before the the year is over, before the end of the season. And um, if we have a chance, maybe we'll get an update from y'all if y'all are actually gonna do this or not. But that is a, a tradition, in fact. I think that I always do what I say I'm going to do. I'm That's just right. saying. Okay, fucking Al Capone. Whatever I'm just I saying. Say, it gets done. Be a man of your word or a woman of your... Be a person of your word. Right? That's right. Right, yeah. I know Fita called... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right over there. <laughs> the president fucking called me out on that one time. And that's all I needed ever was like you to call me out one time to be like... If you say you're gonna do something, ooh, you went bad on me, ooh. and I was like, it cut, it cut Duly, deep enough. Duly yeah, noted. Yeah, yeah, no, in a polite way, in the most polite way. You have to, if you say you're gonna, you know do how something, to talk to me. Through. Yeah, I w- and I remember thinking, God damn, if that ain't the truth. <laughs> that's, that's the that's the good thing about having somebody with a different perspective for you. You know, mm-hmm. to, to kind of, you know, sometimes it, it, we don't realize we're tunnel vision. And and when we you know we 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 like to think that we're always open minded to stuff, but sometimes we maybe it's not that we're not open minded, but we just couldn't like even imagine that, or it didn't look at it that way. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't it, it, like you didn't imagine it. They would have that effect. So, you know, I mean, we all do. I really wish that we could see people, like see ourselves from like other people's perspective, or like cause see we could see the good things about <sighs> ourselves, but then we can also see our flaws too, because others can see, I feel like, our flaws more than we could see our flaws, you know? But then like they could see it in a way that we don't see it, you know? I think yeah, but I don't I don't think I mean that would be cool to see that, just to get that perspective. Yes. But I feel like <laughs> but as long as people don't take it like trying to change who they are type shit like you no. know as long as it's something just to, for you to watch and just observe for yourself and take totally. it and be like I feel like in the last podcast and asked me like why I would want to have the superpower of like knowing all and I didn't answer her but when I re-listened to it I was like I realized I'd, and I'll answer here and it's just to know like it's just to know like just to have a fucking just to be I don't know like more empathetic I think yeah to have more others. understanding towards yeah. others because you kind of know because what they're going through because if you couldn't be like I don't know like see things from their point of view then you can kind of like get a better understanding of why they move the way they move or something. And how, you and how you move affects everyone, mm-hmm. you know, and how you move for and everything sure. else. Like, it would know, never be for like, I don't know, weirdo things. <laughs> Air quote, weirdo things. <laughs> See, we all have different tolerances. So what I what she might think is some weirdo shit, I might just think is just ridiculously out of pocket. So, <laughs> you know, we're, so we're, that's, that's you got to know your audience, part. y'all. You got to know who you're talking to. Perception. Exactly. Is that what that is? <laughs> Like, the way that you perceive things, right, like, mm-hmm. is going to be, like, if you perceive them in, like, a disrespectful way or something. Yeah, well, I think it's more like, yeah, and, and um, because, yeah, because your, your perception is what you think. Like, some something that you might think is not disrespectful mm-hmm. might be disrespectful to somebody else because of how they were probably raised or whatever, they're, whatever kind of, you know, you get your ideas exactly. and your morals from places and stuff and some people don't have none. So that'd be another, that'd be a whole nother thing in general, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, we're good. We're all good people here, you know, <laughs> trying to trying to do the best we can. To, um, you I'm know, not a good person. Huh? Just, I said I'm not a good person. Not, <laughs> not, I'm a great person. Yeah, that's some shit. My daughter would say honestly. Run the way home. She's like, I didn't have a good day. I'm like, you didn't? She's like, I had a great day. That's right. I'm like, girl. That's that energy. <laughs> Hold on. That's that energy we need. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clap it up for her one time. She gets that from you. <laughs> that's good. That from you. That's 
she loved oh, it. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> so what's the worst Christmas present you ever got? Oh, that's a, that's a horrible question. <laughs> it is, right? I don't know. Because now think... you're going to lie. No, I don't think that. I think you gonna that give, like you're gonna give one of my player uh, responses to it. <laughs> no, I promise you, I always keep it real. I always right. keep it real. Oh, players, I don't know how to real. keep a player. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say like some kind of like body sprays or like body lotion bullshit. Like honestly, like your smell is not my smell, so don't try to fucking. Buy some shit that, you know what I mean? I don't know. And I'm, like, super sensitive anyway, so I shouldn't. <laughs> I would sure. say some body sprays or something. Like, don't do that to people. I always tell people, do not buy your loved ones. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to say girls. Girl for your smell. Yeah, even if you smell, because then you're just going to cover up the stink. So if you do smell, just take a shower. Wash your ass. Like, everybody just take a shower dude, dude, once another no one by PSA, a day, right? Like, yeah. Move into that PSA. No. <laughs> it's a reoccurring theme. It's it just it, if we have to keep talking about it, that just you know how many funky people we encounter along our our travels during life. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and as we move around in the world, some people stink. Oh. But anyways, how uh, about you? Worst gift I ever got was a, probably a hangover. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's about it. Just a hangover. I'm done asking yeah. you questions. I don't even <laughs> you don't know like the why version. I come here <laughs> you, don't like the, you don't like my answer? <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. A hangover? Man. Okay, 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 okay. Whatever. I mean, can can it, can I, I'm wrong now for feeling the way I do? <laughs> I mean, you can feel the way you feel, but I guess. <laughs> that was the worst gift you ever got was a was hangover. hangover. But didn't you give that to yourself, though? No, nah, because I was sharing drinks and people were pouring me drinks. I and mean, that's how I got. See, if I'm drinking by myself, I'm cool. I ain't going to get no hangover because I know, you know, roughly where I want to stay at. And I don't want to get that fucked up just by myself. Now, you know how it goes when you're with people and now where shots are flying and da, 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 the shit hits the fan. And next thing you know, you're taking a double shot of some fucking Jägermeister and you've been drinking tequila all and beer all night and then you start fucking blacking out. Oh. You know so, yeah. The worst gift. Yeah. Okay, so whatever. Santa Claus had absolutely nothing to do with that fucking shit. It was me. It was- <laughs> say, I am Santa Claus, you remember? I'm the one that buys the gifts so hell yeah, it was me. I did it to myself. You know why your gift wasn't here? Because Santa Claus was drunk, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, the worst gift ever. Oh my god! So bring, so we're in accord. We're 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 in, uh, we're all in alignment, right? Bring tamales back. Make tamales great again. Make the tamales great again. <laughs> Make tamales great again. Yeah, we have to. We bring have those to. Traditions back into your family. We have they to. Only fall off if you're the one that's yeah. dropping the ball. I feel the same way. So we're gonna do it. Make the mothers great. It's again. not gonna be hard at all because I just know that just know that anything. just know that you know I, I got absolutely one hundred percent a lot of love for you, but I'm also gonna be ruthless with my my uh, uh, what's it called. Critique. My critique of the, the, the tamales, just for the sake that we must, as a people, uphold the standard that we all <laughs> need to live by. We have to still be soft, like yeah. you said. Yeah, just no, nah, just no. Nah, to be honest up. with you, yeah, that's the, the when they're hot, they're fresh out the thing, and they're really, really hot still. Nah, because you know, because after you take them out, you gotta set them for a minute in the in the little the pot so they could form, so they're not too. Um, too like because the the dough will fall apart if you open it up basically if it's you if open, you open it, it too soon yeah, yeah. If you open, after you pull them out of the uh, mm, out of from, I love from it steaming when it falls apart <laughs> <laughs> my my childhood drama agree my childhood trauma agrees with you on that you know what I'm saying love it love it, love it, when it falls Just apart crumble for me you know? <laughs> terrible people that we are you know what I mean and that's a joke too so for all you fucking workplace fuck faces right. that was a joke by the way in case you didn't know when we were playing or not you know what I'm saying so right I wouldn't if I, if I felt like that way you know what sure I feel I guess, like Anne yeah. would be proud cause you know I, I kinda was telling her to be cool cause it's really not her place she, she, she was being cool and stuff she was 
legit, but like I don't just because she feel like that don't mean I don't feel that way. She's she, cool as a cucumber, but yeah. I mean like others. She's right? too cool for school, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And out there saving the world right now. A millionaire, like I say, couldn't make it on Saturday. Oh, Sunday she got time for you, but you know, you know, she's probably in in Dubai not somewhere. A, yeah, not you know, on a Saturday. In, in Dubai, uh, uh, somewhere halfway around the world with Patty and the Avengers and shit. You know what I'm saying? So man. Yeah. Off, off and away. Yeah, I mean, fuck. They gotta leave us here. We ain't got no power. That's okay. Here. Somebody's gotta hold it down. Exactly. We. I, I've got kids. I can't go anywhere. Exactly. I, you know, <laughs> and, we, and here we are. That was in that right there in the Look, nutshell. Yeah, in the here. nutshell, that was our motivation for us even doing this. So, <laughs> dude, we ain't got shit to do. Fuck it. I got kids. It's like, <laughs> could be doing a lot. But you know what is true though, because no matter what, you could be doing anything, right? You could be doing all kinds of shit, but you're here right now. Yeah. And we're and we're getting it done. Right about a good 55 minutes. You know what? Like I, I feel like we're good. That's I feel, good. You know what? I feel we're ending on a good spot. It's early. We got El Presidente in the building once again. El Presidente. <laughs> I need you to hurry up and get your podcast going. Ooh, and I so, have ideas moving and grooving, and I'll have to tell you about that after this. Well, I told Let's you. Let's talk a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to work that out right now <laughs> because I I have to come over there and fucking get you guys set up. I, I got some uh, extra, you know, mic stand uh-huh. and an extra mic for you guys to get up. So you got one already with the with the second. That's you and at least two people back and forth, and then mm-hmm. you could have the same thing, and uh, or you could rotate your guests. You know, however you how like you feel like doing. I like to rotate them. Oh, your friend, oh, friendly guests. Okay, yeah. So, with that being said, where can they find you, Hot Mom? You know, I like you guys to look at my tie dye. So, follow stare me. At it. Yeah, stare at it Work. and like double tap that shit. <laughs> yeah, totally, Terrible. period, tie dyed, period, designs on Instagram. Okay? <laughs> aye, aye. Uh, you already know what it is you guys can follow the instagram account at no underscore invite underscore podcast you could also go to our youtube page and subscribe and slander us and all the other shit send it to your send it to your homie and, and talk shit about us or whatever however whatever floats your boat you know what i mean whatever does it for you i don't give a fuck as long as you're, you're watching uh and that's rebirth media films r-i-b-i-r-t-h media films with a z um, you can go to all any podcasting platform, Pandora, iHeartRadio, uh, Spotify, type in no invite podcast will pop up and pop out on your bitch. On your bitch. On your, your bitch. bitch. Episode 111. And the, end, the <laughs> end of season three is almost over, y'all. This is the uh, this is the last to the last episode before we kick off the new season, season four. And uh we're gonna have we're gonna switch it up because I kind of feel like it's time. So I, more now, let yeah exactly. Let's talk. You know, what I mean? more <laughs> more action. Y'all know when the season new season comes. With that being said, we out. <laughs>